Danny approaches the ball, and we are underway from Athens. Butler will take it out of the end zone. Across the 20, across the 25, and that is where the up-tempo offense of the Thundering Herd will take over. Pick up a four, makes it second and six. They go back to the ground game, and alley for Talaferro in a first down. The veteran for the Bobcats out on the field. He gives it to Blankenship, nothing doing. Second and six for Tettleton. Blankenship. And again, nothing doing in the run game for Ohio. Blankenship met by a swarm. Now second and goal. Blankenship in the pistol. And he has it here. We call it a yard. The herd ready for Blankenship in this running game. Samuel, another tackle. Third drive, third different running back. The play fake to Grooms. Cato over the middle. Has his man open near midfield. That is Tommy Schuler, his high school teammate for a pickup of 22. So if there's one guy that Cato feels comfortable, it's his old high school roommate, Tommy Schuler. And there he just runs a quick post route up the middle. Nice little read to the back. Rakeem Cato makes a nice pass for the completion. Five wide now for Cato. Over the middle, it's Schuler again. Last year in this game, Schuler had 13 catches for over 120 yards. There's an eight yard pickup. Now they empty the backfield again on third. Five. Cato stepping up, finds Schuler. First down, Marshall. It's great stuff. You tell me Ron Burgundy doesn't mean anything on second and ten. Play fake. Cato forced out of the pocket. Buying time, dumps it off to Hoskins. Stays in bounce. Gets the first down inside the 15. A 20 yard pickup. Two on the young season this year. He is their go to guy in the red zone. Cato again forced out of the pocket. Nice fake there. Gets inside the 10. Gain seven. It's Groom to the left. And he's in. That was close. Some hitting going on on this field. See this here. You see this hit. Still holding that ball out. I don't like that. Jumps up. We can't see the angle if the ball crosses the plane there. Wow, what a point after attempts. Rooms finished it off, but it was Cato to Schuler doing most of the work. Cato kept it himself. And the herd has evened things up here on the road in Athens. So look for them to see if Marshall can attack those guys. They go back to Blankenship up the middle. Second and eight now for Tettleton. Looking over the middle. Gets it to Foster. Ball sports loose and complete. Second and eight. Cato keeps it. The double move to Schuler. They hook up again. Coach Solich told us he would play. And here he is. Keeps it himself. Gets across the 20. And welcome to the battle for the Bell rivalry, says A.J. Leggett. An eight-yard pickup. Well, there's a reason why A.J. Leggett was recruited so high. Now the state of Florida, you look here, he reads the play, and boom, he lays the wood. Welcome to the game there, Darius Vick. Feeling the pressure, steps up. Gets hit, big hit by McKelvey. Nato, a Florida product, rolling right out of Miami. Pumps, then finds the receiver for a first down. It's Craig Wilkins, six-yard pickup. Because they've all fumbled the ball, but I think you just got to make sure you just go with your gut, but they, they, knowing they can all make plays just like Butler did right there on the outside. Pendleton forced out of the pocket and sacked. James Rouse. It's all the Marshall coach has been talking about is this guy James Rouse saying how much of a great defender he is. That's going to be a huge call here. How does he let that bounce? 
You gotta catch it clean. That's the most important thing. Catch it with your hands. Don't worry about anything else. You see that ball? Does he have control? Is his body in the end zone for that touchdown? We'll see here. Control what a, the ball. You can only imagine what was going through Butler's mind there when he had no chance to bring that in. I don't know. Got to have possession of the football before you roll out of bounds there. I don't know. Just by looking at that. Ohio showing pressure. Here it comes. Smith makes the grab. Nine-yard pickup. After the run. Cato going down the sidelines. Has a step. Wilkins makes a tremendous grab. We talked about it. Schuler's out. Who's the guy it goes to? Coach Lake said the most accountable receiver is number 81, Craig Wilkins. You're in good graces with the quarterback. Cato looking left. Evans goes back to make the grab. Brought down by Carey. Pick up with 10. So another first down for Marshall. Now Cato with time over the middle. Open receiver. 12-yard pickup, Gator Hoskins. Haven't said his name in a while. Four on the play clock. Cato gets it off. Keeps it himself. Now he lost it over. Smith makes the grab for the first down inside the 10. And again, Cato keeping the play alive. Could have could have ran this ball. Got up real quick. Called the timeout. Stays with it. Nice touch pass. You're right. He had plenty. Of, he had a chance to get out of bounds. Six seconds left. You don't take a shot. You well, send the kicker out. Pendleton keeps it. Marshall ready for him. Daryl Roberts had it read right from the get-go. A loss of five. That's a great read. They had two defenders there when he pulled the ball out. Nowhere for Tettleton to go. Cato with time. Another strong throw to the outside. Evans with the catch. A pickup of eight. Maybe Marshall counters with a, with a deep ball. Second and 12 off the play fake. Going deep to Schuler. He makes the grab. Short of a first down. Nice open field tackle. Off the 10 yard pickup. Schuler on the reception. Carpenter with the tackle, bringing him down. Pro catch. Makes go up and makes a tough grab. That's what it's been. Over the middle, catch made by Hoskins. He had the first down, and it looks like he still gets it. Third and long in Ohio territory. Pressure coming. Cato keeps it himself. He has the first down and slides. They spot him at the 30, a pickup of 13. Fourth and short. See if they can convert. They spread the field with five wides. Ohio bringing pressure. Cato sees it. Get rid of, get rid of it to Schuler. Kristoff can't bring him down. Carey does a 19-yard pickup. It's a great job by Cato. Doesn't throw it really off his in a proper stance, but he, he sees the pressure in his face and he knows when you bring pressure, someone's going to get open, and he really waits for it. Steps in, throws it to Schuler. Great job. Kid understands the game. He reads it well, makes a big play. A pair out of Miami Central High School. Now Talaferro in the backfield. First and goal from the three. Here's Talaferro with an alley, and he is in the end zone. Alive with his legs, and it's not running, but just letting his receivers get open. A lot of broken, really, pass plays that the receivers kind of coordinate together and get him the ball. And then this is where he kills you with his legs. He's had a, a very disciplined out there for Ohio, really, on defense, guarding those receivers. But there's just so many weapons, so many options for Cato to go to. There's Blankenship. Met by Holmes. The player they call the Freak makes another tackle. 
He does. He makes an excellent tackle on the outside. But what I'm seeing now, this offensive line, they're young interior linemen are really driving these defensive linemen off the ball there. This is right now, it's a critical stage in this game for this D lineman to really step up and push them back and make themselves. Trips to the right. Quick release to Patterson. Does not get a block. And Daryl Roberts comes up. To get the first hit, Holmes finished him off, a gain of one. I called, mentioned Holmes' nickname, The Freak. You take a look at his bench, squat, and power clean total, 1,380, 1,385 pounds. 500 pounds more than my collective oh, come on, you were throwing together. That. You were th Pendleton with time, gets rid of it to Blankenship. Oh, yeah. Emphasis is, is defenseless. See here? You know, he kind of hits the back of his shoulder pads. He spins at the last second here. Yeah, Obviously, he's not a defenseless player. He has the ball, making a move up the field. Over the middle, Waters cannot make the grab. And there's a late flag coming in. Look at the Marshall defenders halfway off the field. They don't know there's a flag call coming up on Corey Tyndall. Here on the slant. Makes the move, defender pushes into him. Wow, that's close. Really looks like he can't really, it's tough to see where he is from behind. It's a bang, bang play, I mean, you know, he. Tettleton feeling heat, he goes down. Rouse was in there, as was Tyndall. An eight yard loss. Smith has advertised to the speed department. He gets behind the DBs quickly. Now out to Schuler. Spins ahead for a few more yards. Xavier Hughes brings him down after a five yard. Cato with time. Evans again, another first down. Bass with the tackle, but it's a six yard pickup. These receivers are really showing me something when they get their catches tonight. Defenders have been right on them, and those are tough catches. Coming back to the ball, knowing they're going to get hit and concentrate. They've done a good job of bringing the ball in tonight. Cato all day in the pocket. Tells his man to go deep. Gator Hoskins is wide open. Touchdown, Marshall. 38 yards. Blown coverage there. Fortunately, when you give a guy that much time, he can find those, blown, uh, those missed opportunities on defense, and he finds... Gator Hoskins there, wide open on the right side. Kid had, kid had 10 touchdowns last year, led all tight ends in college football. Cato with all day. Says, Gator, you're open, you're open. Go to the end zone. Doesn't get much easier than that. Pitch and catch in the end zone for the herd. Here comes pressure. Gets rid of it to Boykin. Fumble. Picked up by Roberts. Huge call coming up here. Did he yeah, have... as he caught it by McKelvey. Did he have ruled, right? Exactly. Ruled a fumble on the field. The previous play is under yeah. further review. He, he wasn't able to make a move yet. He didn't have the ball locked in just early. Now I'm seeing this. The ball's not controlled by the receiver. I think Ohio's going to get a break here, and they're going to maintain possession. You see there, right here, ball's going to hit. The running back, right there, you can't see it, but he doesn't have possession. If we go back to that first replay, if we could show the first time, here it is. See the ball hit his body. Never really quite has it. It's going to be close. I mean, well, you say close there. Again, the ruling on the field, fumble. Boink it. Nothing doing on that play. Holmes with the tack. The possession game here in the second half. Boink it met right away. Bassey breaks through with a big hit for a loss. Alex Bassey, the grad student, with a loss of three. Shovel it backwards to Boykin. So they lose even more yards. So they push it back to about the 12. Geico 400 tomorrow at 1.
on ESPN. Another dangerous throw, but Smith now in the open field. He is dangerous. Still in bounds. Then they finally whistle him out of bounds. But there is that speed on display from the man known as Moo Moo. And some speed. Don't want to let him get behind you. Now Kato to Smith. Hit right away after the first down at the 25. Kato with time over the middle. Evans with another catch. 16 yard. You gotta get it in on this play. Bad snap. Kato. Catch made short of the touchdown though by Schuler. On a run, so you have a player that's versatile. I'm leaving it in the quarterback's hands to see if he can make a play. His legs are his arm. Here he is, Cato. He has room and he will get in. Gets the bounce. Foster lets it go out of bounds. 